Hey, thanks for checking out my ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ClickFunnels to create landing pages, which then turn into a sales funnel. If you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description, or maybe you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels, you can use that to get a free 14 day trial as well. Let's begin. So I'm going to start with the assumption that you just got started with ClickFunnels 2.0. So you're going to have a pretty blank screen, something that looks like this. So what we want to do is click on left funnels, which is where I am. And from there, we're going to click on create funnel. Now, smart funnel builder, in case you're not sure of it, it's kind of like using AI to do it. However, if I do that in this tutorial, it's going to be hard for you to kind of copy in my steps because it can always come out a little bit different. So I'm going to go with create funnel here. It's just as good anyway, given the fact they provide you with templates to use. So let's click on create funnel. All right, and as you can see here, you can always start from scratch, but in my opinion, using a template is gonna help you get up and running so much faster, and that's what we're looking for. We have plenty of funnels here, but in this specific example, we're looking for a lead funnel, otherwise known as a squeeze page or a squeeze funnel. It says you can use curiosity to generate leads with this simple two-page funnel. Let's click on select right here. And of course, Russell Brunson is going to be chatting off your ear here, but we can pause him. Uh, he can step aside for once, okay? So I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial. So as you can see, we have our squeeze page and our thank you page. Very straightforward. For example, if you want to generate leads and hand out like a free ebook, which I'll be showing you how to do, this is what's going to allow you to do that. Now, there are going to be a total of seven total funnels that you can choose from. And if any time you want to see what you're going to be using, you can actually squint very closely and see like this is going to be the squeeze page, thank you page, squeeze page, thank you page. Or what you can do is just click on preview right here. And here's an example of what it's going to look like. You don't see an opt-in, but there's going to be a box here where if we click on this, it comes down and that's how that's going to work. Nevertheless, I have already looked through them and I like this one right here. I will show you what the squeeze page looks like. So we're going to go with this one. Very simple. Simple is what we want. Everything is pretty much above the fold. So I'll give you some tips as well when we are creating it. So let's go back. And feel free to choose one that you happen to like. A lot of these are going to be similar in many ways. So if you pick one that's kind of different, it's not going to be a huge deal. But let's click on select funnel right here. And of course, it's going to stay where it's installing your new funnel now. So when we're finished, we'll make a suggestion. You know, you can pretty much edit it or you can just, I talked about in another video, you can go outside, you can do backflips and play soccer. It's not going to say that <laughs> as, as we see right here. So we can either close or customize now. Let's customize it now. Of course, we're doing the tutorial. All right, so let me introduce you to the workspace or the workflow, the funnel flow, however you want to look at it or call it. Okay, so these are going to be the two landing pages in our sales funnel and the landing pages combined turn it into a funnel. As you can see here right up top, it says this funnel is in test mode. Make sure that when you are done, you turn that off. I will show you how to do that when we are done, as it says in the menu in the top right corner. Nevertheless, let's start with the opt in page first. So let's hover over it and click on edit. All right, so here we have the drag and drop editor and overall it is pretty straightforward. As you can see, anytime you hover over a specific section, you're gonna see how that kind of rectangle, it's green, it shows up where it is. So if we want to delete all of that, we could if we needed to, um, we don't wanna, right? But just kind of showcasing, this is gonna be another section. Like this is gonna be a book right here. I'll show you how to add images and so on and so forth. And we've got some logos and so on and so forth. So in the beginning, let's just say we don't want a logo. What we can do is kind of hover over this right here. And if we wanted to change it, I will show you how to do that. Anytime you want to change an image, you just simply click on the image URL section right here. All right, so let's just say I wanted to upload an image. We would click right here. I'm going to get my logo. All right, it's loading and there it's going to be. I don't want to put that up top. So what I'm going to do is exit out of here. We can go back here and you're also going to notice you can't hit really the X or the trash can there. But if you move around, you're going to notice there's going to be a section right here. We can get rid of this row completely. And now our headline is going to be straight at the top. So here's a good tip when it comes to your landing page. You'll notice that when someone arrives on this page, everything is going to be above the fold. And what's the main goal right here, right? We want someone to enter in their email address. So this is perfect. You don't usually want to do is just scroll down and let's say this was a really long page where this was going to be all the way at the bottom because the chances are high you're going to be missing out on a lot of people. So let's work our way up towards the top and then move down. All right. So this is going to be the headline here. And I did another tutorial where I talked about this, but I'm going to do the same thing here. How to yay without boo. If you need help writing headlines, this is going to be a fantastic one for you. So here's what you want. How to do something that your perfect audience wants without doing something that they don't want to do. Okay. So as an example, I'm going to be using digital marketing as I do all the time, since that's kind of my niche software, digital marketing. So 
how to launch your digital business without losing your shirt on paid advertising, okay? How to launch your digital business without doing SEO. Maybe someone just doesn't wanna take forever to do SEO. They don't wanna like wait around to get results. So think of what it is your perfect audience wants and what they don't wanna do. This can make a fantastic headline for you, okay? So, all right, so how to launch your digital business, that's gonna be the big benefit. And then without something that I said before, without losing your shirt on paid ads. Now here's something else you can do. I like using either a little bit extra, but also what you can do, if you ever wanna move a section like this, you can just go to this, drag and drop, and let's move it up above here. Something that you can do here, depending on what you're giving away, I like saying to say free ebook reveals dot dot dot. And we are giving away an ebook here, so that's the reason why I put that. So that's something you can do. If maybe you're gonna be doing a case study, you can say that free case study reveals, you know, free product that used to be $97, whatever it's going to be. So let them know exactly what they're gonna be getting. You can put that there. We have our main headline right here, and we can probably put a little bit extra. So the seven classified insights every internet marketer must be aware of. So let's just maybe kind of keep that same uh, formula here. So. All right, so I put the six steps every digital marketer needs to be aware of. So we know that there's six of them. We're not sure what they are. It's a little bit of curiosity. So if they read this and they're interested in this, this is just kind of bolster it. It's gonna say, all right, there's six steps. You need to be aware of them. So feel free to play around with that. And something right here, since we have some text, I'm just gonna delete this. I'm gonna say, enter your best email below to get instant access. All right, so what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be giving them the ebook right away on the next page, okay? So we have your email here. We can always click on this. We It's already gonna say uh, email address, which is good, but we have label text. What we can do is put your best email address here. The reason I like saying this is because a lot of times you will get someone's best email. When you say your primary, your best, your number one email, the chances are higher that they're actually gonna do that. Because of course, if you're generating leads, you obviously want leads who are using their real emails, otherwise you're getting spam emails, You know they're never gonna open it, and so on and so forth. I think that looks fine like this. Now we can click on the button right here, so for get instant access. What I wanna do here, it says get access now. I'm gonna do click here to get instant access. Okay, perfect. And on click, this says submit order form, which is gonna be perfectly fine. We can keep it that way. If for some odd reason you ever wanted to redirect them to a different page and not a thank you page, this is what you can do right here. You would just go right here and send them to a different URL, okay? There's gonna be some other options here, like if you're not generating leads, this can open a pop-up, it can mark complete. We don't need to redirect to next step because it's automatically gonna do that. And since we are getting an email, we do wanna submit the order slash form. Okay, anything else right here, we have some styles. We have icons right here. I think I am gonna just remove this. I don't think we need a lock on here, right? Maybe something like an arrow. I think that looks a little bit better, right? And I think that's fine. I'm not gonna play around too much with that. Your information is safe with us and will not be shared. That's fine. And down below, oopsie, if we wanted to add anything else, you can. It says, curious about how we ascend to become the largest digital agency, yada, yada, yada. I think it actually just looks fine the way it is. Clean, simple, and what we can do here is just click on this and do delete. And that looks perfectly fine, okay? Let's say we want to put our logo here, though. Let's click on this right here. Let's go to our image URL. We already uploaded it before. If you have one, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine as well. So what we can also do is click on the section here and we can change this so that we can actually see it a little bit better. So we can do something like that if we want, maybe colored so it pops a little bit more. We don't need your information since we have the logo there. And this is just gonna be business as usual when it comes to you know your business. Clearly the year is wrong, but I do wanna show you how to add links. So let's just say we have something like this. Okay, and sure. What we can do is go to privacy policy. This is if you wanna add a link, which you'll probably need to do if you have these pages, right? You're gonna to wanna to click on the link here, and this is where you can add it. So HTTPS, spoiler alert, don't send your traffic to AOL. I just always use them as a random example. Like, let's pretend that was your privacy policy, right? And what we can do is have it open up in a new tab if needed as well. So that's gonna be that. So that's gonna be our link. And I think this looks pretty good. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Shouldn't have taken too long to do. And of course, this is just gonna be a book cover. I'm gonna keep it there because I don't specifically have one for this example, but we know how to change our images around, right? Last but not least, let's click on the save button. Okay, and let's go back. All right, so now we move on to the thank you page. Let's go to the thank you page down here and click on edit.
All right, so let's take a very quick look at what this page has here. So once again, if we don't say want like a logo or just the top part, or we can do this, keep that there, that's going to be fine. That's just going to be a section there in case we wanted to add it, but I'm not going to go too crazy on the aesthetics part. So for me personally, I like saying congratulations. Okay. And it says, please check your inbox. But once again, remember, we gave them the link right away. So what we can do here, let me delete this here and just kind of give you a template. All right, so pretty straightforward. It says, congratulations. Thank you for opting in and choosing to get your free ebook. You can get access right now by using the link down below. I just like doing this. And this is going to be our link. Now, while we don't have our digital asset uploaded yet, once we finish the thank you page, I'm going to save it and show you how to do that. So you can actually just link to your ebook. Okay. Hope you enjoy it. Hope that you enjoy it. There we go. All right, so on the bottom, it has this unique spot here where we can actually add a coupon if we want. It's really up to you if you want. You can always just delete this. This is a nice, what I like to call real estate. So anyone who has opted in has raised their hand and said that they were interested in digital marketing, right? Or just, you know, learning to launch and build their online business. So anything you can put here related to that is going to be very helpful. And even better, I like this thank you page because it has even more sections. So products you may be interested. Notice how, again, these are going to be like physical products, but that doesn't matter. This could be something digital marketing related. So if they're wanting to launch their business, right, we could put a product, say like ClickFunnels. Like if that's something that, you know, they want to use to obviously, like we're showing here, that could be something. Uh, another one, for an example, we have an organic traffic method. And maybe for example, or if you have maybe a webinar, I'm just giving you some ideas here. Obviously, you can change the pictures around. Very easy to do. We know how to do that when I did my logo. And if you want to change this, you just click on it and type it. So what you can do is link these right here, the images. Let me show you right here. So if we click on this, all right, and if we scroll down ever so slightly, it says link action or URL. So these are going to be some of the actions, but let's just say we wanted to go to a URL. And I think you might know where it's going to be going. Disclaimer, don't send your traffic to AOL. So once again, if this was a webinar, that would obviously be the link. And what we can do, definitely open it up in a new tab because as they do that, when they come back, this will still be here. So you can link these images. You can link the text. These are just going to be other things that they might be interested in. Do you have coaching? That's a great spot for it. Do you have any type of consulting call or maybe a call that might be able to close clients? Anything like that, you can put it here, whether it's an affiliate link, your link, a discount, a VIP section, further free training, you name it. So many great things to do here and that's always a good thing. So we also have this here. Let's say we wanted to delete that and this just to remove it. And what we want to do now is add our digital asset so that someone can actually download their ebook. Okay, so let's click on save. And what I'm going to do is go back and once again, let's click on back so that we go to the main dashboard of ClickFunnels. All right, so when you're on your main dashboard, what you want to do is go to workspace settings right here. From there, let's go to my assets on the left. And here we have downloads. Let's click right here. All right, and it says upload files can be granted by products or available to your customers in the customer center. So what we want to do here is click on upload file. This is where I'm going to upload my ebook. So we have name right here. Let's say like the digital business launch, just something similar to what we talked about, right? All right, so we have the digital business launch, something similar to what we talked about previously. I'm going to upload the file. It's a PDF file on my desktop. All right, if we want to select an image, like if you had an ebook cover, this is a spot where you can do it, but I'm just going to keep it like that. Let's click on create file. All right, so here it is. Let's actually click on it right here. And now what we want to do, there's going to be a download file section. It's going to be a really long link normally, as you can see on the bottom. But what we can do here is right click and let's do copy link address. If you want to put it in a notepad, you can. I'm just going to keep it there. Now we want to go back to the thank you page. And this is what we're going to use as our link. So let's go back to our actual dashboard. All right, and so we're going back to our funnel. In case you're not familiar with where it is, it's going to be the funnel section right about here. And then, of course, the funnel that we created. Let's go back to our thank you page. All right, so click here to download your ebook for launching your digital business. Now, what we want to do is copy this or just highlight it. Excuse me, not copy it. We, we already copied our, uh, our ebook. So let's highlight it. Let's click on the link right here. And I'm going to remove that hashtag and just paste it in. Okay, and then what I want to also do is make sure it opens up in a new window. Okay. So there's that. Now, if you look at this page, it doesn't really look like a link is here and we want to change that. We want to make it as easy as possible. Even though it says click here to download, someone might scan this and realize there's no link. I want out. OK, so let's make sure that doesn't happen. We want to hover over this section where the paragraph is and click on the gear. And from here, if we scroll down, you're going to notice we have the color section. We want to change this for the link. So obviously we want to make this magenta because everyone knows that when it's magenta color, it's a link. I'm just kidding. I don't think they think that right, 
blue is naturally going to be what people suspect to be a link. So we want to do that, which is perfect. Okay. And what I want to do is highlight this and I'm just going to bold it as well. So it sticks out. Perfect. So now it actually looks like a link. So what I can do is save this. We now have completed this, assuming that you obviously entered in some things right here. If you don't have anything to put in here, you can just simply delete these with the sections as well. Like you can delete that and you can delete that section as well. So let's click on save. Let's go back and we're pretty much done. And as I talked about previously, I'm not going to be working on the aesthetics. Getting something up and running is so much better than getting it perfect. Now, what we do need to do is turn it off the test mode. So make sure you go here and click on your settings. And in the process, I did change some things like the name of it is just like a lead funnel uh, for the, the funnel path. I just did free gift. Now test mode. No, we don't want that. Okay. Hide powered by click funnels badge. Why not? We can do yes here. And also when you scroll down, make sure you go here and click on update funnel. All right. If you just change this and you don't click on update, then it's nothing's going to change. So make sure you do that right here. All right, and now that it is saved, it is live as you can see. What I'm gonna do is open this URL up in another tab right here. All right, so free ebook reveals how to launch your digital business without losing your shirt on pay ads, the six steps every digital marketer needs to be aware of. Enter your best email below to get instant access. So if they have their email, there's a random one already in there, then it's gonna be click here to get instant access. And this is what I talked about before. Our main goal is right here. Everything in this box, or not everything, we just want them to enter their email and click on this. And it's right in front of them. There's no scrolling, it's above the fold, it is perfect, they know exactly what they're getting, no distractions. That's what's perfect about a landing page in a funnel. One focus, very easy for them to accomplish. And that's how you can really increase your uh, opt-in rate. So let's click on click here to get instant access. And as you can see, we are now on the congratulations page. Thank you for opting in and choosing to get your free ebook. You can get access right now by using the link below. Click here to download your ebook uh, for launching your digital biz. Let's do that right now. And there we go. There is the digital marketing cheat sheet that I talked about. That is what I uploaded. And that's pretty much going to be the ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial. I showed you how to create a lead generation funnel as well as editing the front half of it so we can connect that to the thank you page, kind of decorating it, what to put on there with headlines, some of the text, some of the templates. I showed you how to upload your digital product or just your digital ebook in this case so you can link it to it. And of course, there's one more thing. I just want to show you where the leads are going to go when you capture them. Let's go back. So I'm going to go back right here and just to showcase where you would go, you would click on customers right here and then just go to the contacts and you're going to see the email will show up where it entered in. So you have now captured the lead and that's pretty much now going to conclude this ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial for beginners. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video and if you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton as well. And of course, if you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels, I will leave a link down below in the description where if you click that, you can get a free 14 day trial for them to test them out. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial again and I'll see you in my next video.